Okay, so basically, you know, uh, Kenny and Hori were having a little talk. I, I forgot the man's name, so I'm just calling him by his nickname, Kenny, that he does not like. So the, so they're just having a little chit-chat about their uh, no failure, no failure at all policy, and we don't want to be in a war, and then the way he talks to him so deeply, Kenny to Hori, that you can kind of tell there's a, there's a scar somewhere in Ken. Um, and I said it before, he might because he was a coordinator or he's probably like Shin, he just got involved. Well, I should say, I should say Shin and Kira. I don't even remember what happened to Kira. Kira was just there, right? And like Amaro, they, they, they attacked. Yeah, it, Kira and Amaro, basically the same prospect aspect. They, they, they're, they are there. They got, the place got attacked because they had weapons. That's it. But Shin was, Shin was in, was just, he was just evacuating with his family. And he, you know, he, he was just unfortunate. So I'm assuming Ken, he's a coordinator. So I'm assuming he, maybe his family was like Shin. They just had, went through a tragic accident because of the war. Or maybe his family was uh, killed maybe because he's a coordinator. And there was like racial tensions and stuff. During Gundam Seed. So, uh, and Zapped, I don't trust Zapped at all. They're, they're always involved in battles, both Seed and Seed Destiny. Uh, I don't think so much in, um, was, was it Destiny X or what? Where's Red Frame and Blue Frame from? Astray, Astray. Okay, I got it. Okay, got it, got it. All right. But, um, yeah, so I'm figuring. And the way Kenny talks about it is just, um, it seems to hurt him personally. He, in t I think Hori realizes, then he says, you, and then Kenny says, uh, no, I, I'm not going to talk about it. So now we're back to the base, the headquarters, and, and apparently Miyabi is setting herself up to uh, be uh, quote-unquote captured. She, um, in the um, Act 1, she was the one talking about the terrorism so I guess she's going to get captured by terrorists or, or used as a um, ransom item. Why does she want to know about these terrorists? What does these terrorists want? Apparently the terrorist, the Irish guy, he will not talk during interrogation. Um, so what is Miyabi up to here? So may, is it maybe Miyabi and her dad are like are plotting this together? But ODR maybe maybe is is because it's remember I, I talked about the clans so maybe she she's like she kind of has political value maybe she's going to be a like a political item to um what's the not influence. Well, okay, influence. I'll just use that word because I can't remember what I was, what I wanted to say. So, influence like the terrorists. What does these terrorists want? Th there's a lot of emphasis on them being having a lot of weapons and what was their. We were trying to think about what well, they were trying to think about. What was their deal or why were they arming up and where they were making money, which was obviously uh, still confuses me to this day. Why do we make a ton of money? in war and why do just non-armed forces i i remember complaining about this through this entire chapter like i don't want to hear about no um nations in gundam having low power i don't want to hear it so now we got these terrorists with a bunch of with a bunch of weapons what could they be looking for do they just want the war how do they make how do we make i make money during war just making the armaments is it trading? Is it um how we make a fortune off of that? Is it to circulate the war so we can spend money on armaments and I I just don't know. It just there doesn't seem to be a good cause behind it. That's the thing. And and then I'm thinking about the world wars and how that just drained our economy and stuff. So in the United States, and we don't want to ban things. We don't want to ban guns. That that's just a bad idea. So 
Wait, I don't want to say that because because we that's what we because you you know the 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 liberals. <laughs> um, but um, I'm not saying I like guns. I'm not saying that. I'm just I'm just having a conversation. But um, I'm just saying the after effect of um what what's what we're what the characters are planning and what they what. This is a lot of politics in um Gundam, especially Gundam Seed. So what their what their actions actually lead to. But that that seemed to be a question in itself during this this episode three, all 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 of it. So um there seems to be this underlying feeling of war coming. Huh. I don't know. Well, there's definitely more. So we got Orb versus Terrorist, and Orb can't just. Uh... Oh, and Durando was mentioned. So are Z- is Zap and Plant? Is Zap going to have any involvement in this at all? Kind of like Sea Destiny? Maybe. Well, I don't know about Zapped and Terrorist. May- I don't know, maybe. Like, there could be, like, some very, um... Like, if it's Earth. Then, like, could be, like, some really salty plant guys. Who are... But not to Orb, right? Like, could be some salty plant dudes who are, um... Probably want to start a war on Earth. Uh, yeah, there, there it is. There we go. That, that sounds like a good idea, right? That might work out. That might happen. So maybe the underlying war is zapped and Earth again. Earth Alliance, Earth Federation. Um, or actually, I don't even remember the timeline now. Like I think there was an um. I think there was an uh. Like a joint alliance that happened, and they fought against the um, terrorism t- type of force. I don't remember the timeline now. I gotta double check. So yeah, new war, and Miyabi wants to be bait for who? I don't know, and why? That I guess that's just we just have to wait for later. All right, good night.